Warren Buffett versus Ray Dalio, morning routines battle. Today, we're looking at two heavyweights of the investing world. Both of these men are rich, successful, and smart as heck, but which one is fit to be crowned king of the morning routine? Let's take a look at their morning routines and decide. There can only be one winner. Let's get shit done. Quarter number one, we have Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha. As the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett is one of the most successful investors in the world. Born in 1930 in Omaha, Nebraska, Buffett began his investing career at an early age, buying his first stock when he was just 11 years old. By the time he graduated from college, he had already amassed a small fortune. Buffett's investing philosophy is based on the principle of value investing which involves selecting stocks that are underpriced relative to their intrinsic value. This approach has served him well over the years and his net worth is currently estimated to be over $110 billion. In addition to his investment success, Buffett is also known for his philanthropy. He has pledged to give away more than 99% of his fortune to charitable causes. And he has established several foundations to support education and healthcare initiatives. So let's dive in and see what this billionaire's morning routine is all about. Warren Buffett wakes up at 6.45 each and every morning. He makes sure to get at least eight hours of sleep each night to ensure he wakes up feeling refreshed. After waking up, instead of having coffee or enjoying an early bird morning cocktail, Warren Buffett enjoys a cold can of Coca-Cola. What? Not what I would have expected from a morning drink, but hey, to each their own, he is a billionaire. After getting up, Buffett hits his local McDonald's for breakfast. He either enjoys a cheaper breakfast of two sausage patties with a Coke if the market is down, or he'll enjoy a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit if the market is up. Even though he could buy tons of McDonald's, I like that he still has the discipline based on the markets. If he has time, it's said that he will get some exercise before he heads into the office. When Buffett gets into the office, he mostly reads all day. He reads materials about company financials, financial journals, market materials, and investor reports. Buffett also enjoys reading newspapers and books and would prefer to do that rather than the news on TV. He'll continue to do this throughout the day until it's time to head home. A simple yet effective morning routine. In corner number two, we have Ray Dalio. Ray Dalio is an American billionaire, investor, hedge fund manager, and philanthropist. He is the founder of Bridgewater Associates, one of the world's largest hedge funds. Dalio is also a member of the board of directors of Goldman Sachs. Ray Dalio was born in New York City and graduated from Long Island University with a bachelor's degree and from Harvard with a master's degree. He began his career as a commodities trader with Commodities Corporation. In 1974, he founded Bridgewater Associates, which today is one of the world's largest hedge funds with over 160 billion in assets under management. In 2012, he co-authored a book entitled Principles, Life and Work, which provides insight into his business and investment philosophies. Dalio is a philanthropist donating to causes such as education and medical research. In 2017, he launched the Ray Dalio Foundation, which focuses on education, economic opportunity, and global policy. Now, let's dive into his morning routine. Dalio wakes up each morning around 6 a.m. He starts his mornings with meditation. But not just any meditation. He has found that transcendental meditation works best for him. He first learned about this type of meditation after the Beatles studied it in 1968. Dalio uses this type of meditation to reflect on his mistakes and to clear his mind to make better decisions in the future. After meditating, Dalio has a quick breakfast and then he dives into his day. He checks up on the markets and spends his days digging into research on the markets and things that interest him. Another simple yet effective morning routine. Morning routines don't always have to be intense or 20 steps long. Just find what works for you and works with your schedule and go with the flow. That's what will make the best morning routine for you. Now, before we decide the winner of this morning routine battle, I'd be extremely grateful if you could hit the like button and maybe even subscribe if you like what you see. Also, comment below who you think should win. No cheating. 
So who do you think should win this morning routine battle? Let's do a quick recap. So first we had Warren Buffett. He wakes up at 6.40 a.m., enjoys a nice cold Coca-Cola, breakfast at McDonald's, and then jumps into reading. On the other hand, we have Ray Dalio, who wakes up at 6 a.m., does his transcendental meditation, breakfast, and then market research and digging. All right, now we're gonna decide what we like and don't like about these two morning routines. What do you got? Well, um, let's start with Ray. Okay. <laughs> so Ray, I liked the meditation. I'm still not sure, one, how to even say it, really transcendental <laughs> meditation. Um, and I'm not sure what it is, but it sounds yeah. like it's setting him up for the day and it definitely works for him. So I really like that. I really like the wake up time, 6 a.m. is what I found to be um, best for still being able to get a good eight hours of sleep and still be able to wake up early enough to get stuff done before work. Um, I guess the only thing I could say that maybe I don't like is the breakfast. I'm a big fan of intermittent fasting, so um, I pref personally I just prefer not having breakfast and not using uh, having that slow me down. Um, yeah, I like the same things as you. The wake up at 6 a.m., you normally do that, and then I wake up right after you, so that's a good schedule. Um, also like the meditation, definitely gonna have to check this out. I think it's something more of like a reflecting inside like meditation, but um, I've seen a couple people in these morning routines now have, that have been doing it. So mm -hmm. definitely wanna check that out. And then, um, yeah, I think just the maybe his digging throughout the whole day might just maybe get him down a rabbit hole, but <laughs> to, he does what he wants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, I guess, I have to agree with you. Cool. And Warren Buffett. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't really think there's anything I like about it. Um, he wakes like, up at 6.45. Good, decent He doesn't wake have up to wake up early, and he yeah. does. He has nowhere to be, and he still wakes up early, so. But if somebody dedication. were to ask me, like, what's the opposite of a good routine, a good morning routine? Like, what habits should I not do? I'd probably say, on the top of that list would be drink Coke and go to McDonald's. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, that, I would say that's the major two things that I, I don't really understand, but I mean, it's Warren Buffett. He's clearly in his 90s. He's clearly a multi-billionaire yeah. um, and a philanthropist, so I, I'm not criticizing, but. Yeah, I do love that he is giving like 99% of his money away to. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. He's a so, beast and yeah. Yeah, I still think, hey, you're 90 and you're still waking up at 6.45 a.m. Like, there's no way I'm going to do that. Yeah, like, I'm sleeping until 9 or 10. <laughs> you get your sausage patties and yeah. your Coca-Cola. <laughs> so, I think we have come to a conclusion on who the winner will be on three. One, two, three. Ray, Ray Dalio. Dalio. <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> Ray. Um, Warren Buffett, congratulations to you for being amazing. Um, but Ray, you are the winner of this morning routine battle. Recently, we developed something super cool. It's a 60 second quiz that will tell you which morning routine is right for you. After we figure out some details about you, we'll prescribe you a morning routine that includes three habits. We'll even send you a free guide that will detail exactly how to take advantage of each habit. The link to that is below this video. I'll see you on the inside. Peace. <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, you're super dehydrated. You lose over a pound of water overnight. This makes it super hard to wake up in the morning. We've always wanted that ability to easily wake up early and get shit done. The Early Bird Morning Cocktail is your secret to waking up early and being ultra productive, setting you up for a kick-ass day.